Hey, what's going on, everybody? You got the old Mongo man out here in Mongo's garage, of course. Uh, working on the Stormtrooper tonight on a nice rainy Friday night. It is 8 o'clock, and uh, I want to tell you about the water pump saga and what we have gone through over the last three days. It started when we installed this water pump. This is the water pump that was on the engine when it came to the shop. Uh, it is a GMB water pump. CR07 and this water pump leaked out of the weep hole now it being a brand new water pump there was a chance that maybe uh, it would seal up over time but I wasn't about to take that chance considering uh, it's a customer's job and we wanted it to be right but what I want to talk about on this water pump is this little mark right there yeah that little dent so what that is is a bolt head that has left an impression in this tube. Now, from this side, okay, it doesn't look too bad, but remember, this is cast aluminum, guys. And cast aluminum, uh, yep, it's cracked. That son of a gun would have leaked for sure. Now, this water pump was not leaking from there for sure. It was leaking from here. KJ got up underneath of it and got a picture of it. Uh, so we know that one was leaking for sure. The owner brought me a Duralast water pump from I believe those come from AutoZone, and I installed it. Well, when I installed that one, we still didn't know about that pesky little bolt. And needless to say, it did it again. Let's see, right there's the bolt. Aha, there we go. So there's the pesky little bolt that was hitting the water pump. And what that bolt does is it holds the front cover in place whenever the water pump's not on it. So that was hitting and it wasn't allowing it to seal. So the second water pump did much the same. It hit that bolt and it didn't seal up on the bottom. Uh, also cracking it, but it wasn't leaking from the crack. It was leaking from the bottom where it wasn't uh, sealed up. Now, I could have easily just put some all steel or some JB Weld in there to seal up that little crack and then put that thing back together. But you know what? It's not how we roll here. Uh, so I went ahead and Spent another 50 bucks and got the right water pump again, and uh, we fixed it the right way. You know, this is a screw up that I did, and I hope maybe if you watch this, you'll learn and know that uh, on the 318 and the 360, the Mopar small block, you cannot have washers under that bolt. If there's washers underneath of it, it will absolutely hit the water pump every time. Uh, I took the washers out from underneath of it, and I actually did scuff the face of it a little bit so that there was just a little bit more clearance there. And sure enough, it doesn't hit any longer. Went ahead and got all the coolant back in it. As you can see here, the radiator is clear full. I burped it. Uh, so now we have coolant in it. I'm going to let it sit overnight. There's no oil in it yet. And the reason I did that was because I don't know this engine. I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know anything about it. So with no oil in it and it full of coolant, I'll be able to pull the drain plug and see if there's any water in the oil pan. So that'll tell me if there's anything going wrong with a head gasket or anything like that. So yeah, the water pump saga. As you can see here, we got all the wires on, everything's good, all the hoses are connected now, the coolant system is 100%. Uh, it's not tested, but it is put together 100%. We still need a radiator cap and an overflow bottle, but that's to come. All right, so like I said, it is Friday night out here in the shop. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done. I got all the tools and stuff cleaned off the car. We'll get started out here in the morning. I hope to hear this thing run tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post this little video up tonight. That way you guys can feel my pain and understand what's been going on out here and why I didn't post last night. So once again, we want to thank everybody for being here and watching all the videos. This Sunday at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we're going to go ahead and have a uh, live from the shop here. I hope to have Kenny out here with me, but if he's not, that's okay. It'll be just me. And uh, we're going to talk about where we, what we did this year, what we plan on doing here to finish the year out, and uh, what's coming up next year. So we hope you guys will join us for that. Uh, but right now, I think that's all. See you guys later. Mongo's out.